Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. We are really in the midst of this exceptional spell of cold weather that we've been talking about for the past two or three 10 day trends. Now, whilst most of the focus weather wise is on the here and now, some of you are probably wanting to know when this cold spell will come to an end. So let's take a look at the trends as we go into the weekend and into next week. Well, not surprisingly, it can't stay this cold throughout the 10 days. So gradually, and for some of us, I mean very gradually, it will be turning a little bit less cold. But it does look as if it will still be below average temperature wise well into next week. Now, it also looks as if the weather won't be as severe, so heavy snowfall around at the moment, uh, but it looks as if things should be at least calming down a little bit over the next uh, 10 days. But there will still be the potential for wintry showers, and it's still going to be cold enough for frost and ice into next week as well. So, as I say, lots going on in the short term, and we all know why it's turned cold, because we've had easterly winds, and that's because high pressure has been dominating across Scandinavia. The winds go around a high pressure like that, and that's why we've been drawing in this very cold, exceptionally cold air from Siberia. But things are slowly starting to change further south. Areas of low pressure, one named Emma by the Portuguese Met Service because it's bringing parts of Portugal very wet and windy weather. That is pushing its way northwards. And notice the greens and the yellows. It is bringing with it slightly milder air, but it's also bringing with it moisture. And as the moisture kicks in and hits the colder conditions across the UK, well, it will provide some significant snowfall especially during Thursday and Friday morning. But it will also slowly try and bring that milder air in. But as we go into the weekend, it's not that much milder notice. It's just a hint at it, really, across parts of the south, whereas further north across Britain, it is staying on the cold side. Now, it's cold at the moment, as I said, because we've got easterly winds. Let's focus in on Thursday's weather because the snow showers keep on coming in. Still a potential for some pretty unpleasant conditions across much of Scotland. I'm not going to go into details of the warnings here, but we do have several in force. Go to the Met Office website for more on those or check out others uh, of our videos. But as I say, I'm not going to go into the details of the uh, warnings here. But snow showers continue in the north on Thursday. Further south, that weather system starts to show its hand. And wherever you are, it's cold. Temperatures on the thermometer around or below freezing in many places and feeling even colder because of the winds. As the wet weather pushes into the south, as I said, that's where we're going to start to see some heavy snowfall through Thursday afternoon, overnight into Friday morning. Heavy snow combining with strong winds, that means blizzards, and the potential for freezing rain. As the slightly milder air arrives, uh, it will initially arrive higher up in the atmosphere, and that means we'll see rain that will fall through a cold layer, and that hits the surface and freezes instantly and creates very, very difficult driving conditions. And again, on our YouTube channel, there's more videos uh, explaining what freezing rain is. The outlook for Friday is dominated by that low pressure system moving up from the north. The question mark about where this weather front is lying likely to be, still be bringing a band of sleet and snow pushing across some central parts of the UK, but still quite a bit of uncertainty about that. But what we are pretty sure of is that through the weekend, will be dominated by low pressure systems trying to push in from the south, bringing with them ever so slightly milder air, but also the likelihood of cloud and spells of rain and snow. Notice across northern Britain, not too many weather fronts, the wind's still coming in from the east, but if you follow the isobars, they're pointing more up from the south now. So instead of the winds directly coming from Siberia, it will be a little bit less cold because the air isn't coming due east, it's coming more up from the south. But it will still be cold enough for snow showers, and we've still got that contrast in Sunday between the slightly milder air in the south and the still cold conditions further north. So it's a north-south split this weekend. In the north, staying cold, but not as cold as it is currently. Continued likelihood of frost and ice, and still the likelihood of more snow showers to come. Whereas further south, slightly milder conditions, but slightly milder. It will be noticeably less cold than it is currently. There will be more of a mixture of rain and snow. And because we've got milder conditions spreading over a cold surface, that will lead to gloomy conditions, quite misty and murky, with uh, some fog around as well. 
into next week, low pressure looks like moving close to the UK, still low pressure down to the southwest. Things are slow moving. That's one of the key factors as we go into next week. The weather patterns are still blocked. At the moment, or recently, they've been blocked by high pressure across Scandinavia. This is a different kind of block. We've got low pressure systems just milling around and very slowly mixing the air together. So gradually that milder air will be pushing in, but it will be gradual. And notice still early next week that contrast between the milder conditions across the south, still cold across the north, and the cold air is not too far away. So it will still get mixed in at times. So beyond the early part of next week, looking throughout next week, well, this is the trend. I'm going to show you this is called a meteogram showing the temperature trends through next week. The top one is for Glasgow. The bottom one is for Reading. Now, this main red line shows the average temperatures for the time of year. And on the bottom, we've got the dates. Now, the red blobs are the expected temperatures for those respective days. The bigger the blob, the more the uncertainty. And you can see for, for Reading here into next week, there's quite a bit of uncertainty. The blobs are still quite large, but throughout the trend is for the main red blobs there to be below the average. So although it won't be as cold as it is now, it does look as if it will still be on the cold side for much of next week. Further north, we've got the Glasgow uh, graph. Again, showing the same thing, but notice the, uh, the blobs here are much smaller. There's much more certainty that we are still below average as we go into Monday and Tuesday. Only as we go towards the end of next week does the uncertainty spread gain. And at times we may get close to average, but the general trend here is that it will stay cold next week, just not as cold and we won't have the severity of the weather that we have at the moment. And the key thing is that things could be quite slow moving still with low pressure nearby, bringing some showers, which will be a mixture of rain and snow. So no real signs of spring, but just generally less severe weather next week. We will, of course, keep you updated. And for the very latest on the current spell of severe weather, all the latest weather warnings are on our app and, of course, on our website.